Welcome to Americana Archives. Today we have part 5 of the story with the headline, Indian Adventures in the Ohio Valley. The subheadline says, Tales of Bravery and Daring on the Part of Border Settlers in Ohio and Kentucky. Today's installment is entitled, Brady's Leap Over a Chasm of the Cuyahoga. It says, Samuel Brady seems to have been as much the hero of the northeast portion of the Valley of the Ohio as was Daniel Boone on the southwest. Brady's residence was in that part of Pennsylvania, now called Washington County. About the year 1780, a large party of Indian warriors from the falls of the Cuyahoga made an inroad on the south side of the Ohio River in that part of Washington County known then as Catfish Camp. They murdered several families and had recrossed the Ohio before effectual pursuit could be made. Brady collected his chosen followers and hurried after them. Near the spot where the town of Ravenna, the seat of Portage County, Ohio, now stands, the Indians separated into two parties. Brady's men also divided, but they pursued the Indians to the Cuyahoga. They were repulsed, however, and Brady directed his men to separate, each one to take care of himself. The Indians recognized his voice, and having an inveterate hatred for him, with all the other borders and followed him with united strength. The Indians forced him onto the banks of the stream. Brady was as familiar with every turn of it as he was with the streets of his town. He directed his course to a spot where the whole stream is compressed by the rocky cliff into a narrow channel of only 22 feet across the top of the chasm. Through this pass, the water rushes like a mill race, chafing and roaring at its confinement. As he approached the chasm, concentrating his mighty powers, knowing that life or death was in the effort, Brady leaped the pass at a bound. He began to ascend the precipice at the other side, and the Indians, who had refrained from firing because they intended to take him alive for torture, now shot at him. He was wounded severely in the hip, but not so badly as to prevent his progress. The Indians were compelled to make a considerable circuit before they could cross the river, but Brady's wound troubled him, and he made for the pond, which was situated near the road from Ravenna to the falls, known in later years as Brady's Pond. He plunged into the water, swam beneath the surface some distance, and hid under the trunk of an old oak tree that completely covered him from observation. The Indians were standing on this very tree when they expressed their belief that he had met death in the water, within earshot of the safely concealed border. The chasm over which he leaped is known in all that region to this day as Brady's Leap. This story came from the great state of Ohio, being reported in the Cincinnati Commercial Gazette of July 21st, 1895. Thank you for joining us today. If you want to continue to uncover all of America's lost and forgotten history, then remember before you leave to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and remember to like and comment below. And we will see you next time on Americana Archives.